a lot of y'all's been with us since last year. I know y'all remember seeing pictures of the mulberry tree. Look how much different it looks this year. She's done a little bit of growing over the winter. Them birds are in there fussing over the berries. Hey y'all, today I'm harvesting the mulberry leaves to make mulberry tea. And I thought I'd show y'all how you could do it and uh, tell you about all the benefits you can get from uh, using this, like this for tea, just like you would green tea. The mulberry tree has uh, iron, calcium, and all kinds of health benefits for you. So if you've got a mulberry tree around, or if you need to, you could order you one, and plant you one. This one right here is about 10 years old. Travis planted this for us a good long time ago. This is how big it's got. But you can use the leaves and you can use the berries. Let me find some berries. Right here's some pink ones that hadn't turned yet. I'll pick one. And that's a pink one. And then they turn the purple when they get ripe. Let me find a, a ripe one. right here is the berry after it turns and that's what you're going to use for tea you can use this for tea you can use it for jam you can use it for syrup and the leaves off the tree you can make tea with and you can use it to you can dry them and keep them like in a mason jar after you dry them and have them for the year or you can just go ahead and let them air dry or you could use a dehydrator or you could just boil them straight off the tree. You don't have to let them dry. But if you want to keep them for long-term use, you have to dry them. But we're going to show you today how to use the, the leaves to make tea and the berries. So y'all come on, let's pick what we need, and then we'll go in the house and make our mulberry tea. The little baby ones are the freshest, but the big ones work good too. And I have heard where people just take and cut, if you're gonna trim the tree, you could just cut the branches off that you wanna cut off and strip the whole branch. But I'm not gonna do that. Travis might not want me to strip the branch off because he's not ready to trim the tree, so I'm not gonna, take off the whole branch.
that's what it looks like ripe. And then down here on the branch, that's what they look like before they turn ripe. You have it just full of berries. Let's see if I can get that to zoom. That's a little better. But there's one ripe. I dropped it. I gotta pick it up. Don't wanna lose it. Okay, y'all, we've got our mulberry leaves picked. Now let's go in and let's make us some mulberry tea. This is what they look like. But let's go cook us some leaves up and make a gallon of tea. Hey y'all, today I'm fixing to make some mulberry tea and I'm gonna show y'all how we're gonna do it. We're gonna take some of the mulberries that we got off our tree and boil us some tea. And this would be like a pink purple tea but you can use just the leaves off of the tree and boil those and it's like a green tea. And you can sweeten it. We'll sweeten this with a little bit of honey and I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. And mulberries have all kinds of health benefits. So if you got a mulberry tree, don't let your berries go to waste, use them. Put them up, freeze them, can them, just like you would do blackberries. But let's turn around here and I'm gonna show you how to make mulberry tea. We're gonna put in this little pot right here about a half a cup of mulberries. And we're gonna bring that to a bowl. Okay, to sweeten the tea, you can use honey, you can use regular sugar, or you could use these little sweet packets, uh, whatever you like for your sweetener. Or you could just drink it without no sweetener. If you like tea without uh, that's not sweet, you could do it that way. But I'm gonna use a little bit of the honey in mine once they get to the right color that I'm wanting. See how it, right now it's just a light pink and they're starting to change. See how they're turning more of a red? They're losing that dark purple look. Uh, all that's going into your tea. So all that goodness and vitamins that you need that it's healthy for you is, is seeping into the tea. So let's let that keep working and we'll bring you back when it gets done. Okay, now that my berries have loosed, lost all their color, see how they're turning, they're pink almost? And look how, how purple my water is. Okay, now I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna pour them in the, the just the tea into my measuring cup. That way y'all, and I'm using this clear cup, that way y'all can see how pretty the tea turns out. It sort of looks like cranberry, cranberry juice. But that's your tea. Okay, now I'm gonna take it and pour it out of there. I just used that so y'all could see see how pretty it is. And red. I got it up here where y'all can see better. And I can see what I'm doing. All right, let's pour our mulberry tea in the white cup. That way y'all can see. I left, there's a little tiny one. You won't hurt anything. You could strain it with a, like a, a real fine strainer. But that's just got a few little pieces of the berries in it. Okay, I've got everything moved over here. And I think I decided I'm gonna go ahead and just use this packet of sweetener in this one. And in the green tea, I'll use the honey. Give it up to mix. Mix up my sweetener. But see how it's the 
pretty color. But there it is. Oh, y'all need to try it. If you can find you a mulberry tree, or even if you have to order them, it's worth ordering it. This is good mulberry tea. Y'all need to give it a try. Now that's the the ones made out of the berries. Now I'm going to show you how to use and make the use the leaves and make it out of the leaves. And it'll be like green tea. It'll be the color of green tea instead of the purple. So let's turn around here and I'm going to show you how to use the leaves. Okay, I got my water. I'm going to put my green leaves from the mulberry tree right down in there. And I've already washed them. And then we're going to bring it to a bowl. And once they come to a bowl, we're going to let them simmer for a little while. And then we'll show you how it looks. Okay, y'all. The mulberry leaves are done. So now let's pour them in this clear cup so you can see what it looks like. And it looks just like green tea. Set that to the side. And then we're going to use this white cup so y'all can see it. Let me move all this out of the way. But this, like, this is just like green tea. But if you don't like green tea, you might like this tea. It's not quite as strong as uh, green tea. And I'm going to just use a sweetener packet. And let me get something to mix it up with. Mix the sweetener in there. Oh, that's good. Y'all need to try it. It's hot, but it's still good. And that's what the... I've got enough probably for one more cup. And you can do this just like sweet tea. You can uh, make you a gallon and brew it one time and put it in a gallon jug and have it for the week or ever how many days it takes you to go through it. But I like it hot and I like it cold. So you can do it both ways. I'll make a cold cup, cup of tea too so you can see how it looks. Which this is still hot so it's going to melt your ice. But that's what it looks like. Just like a little cup of green tea. Except this is mulberry tea. I hope y'all give this a try. <clears throat> And if you have a mulberry tree, you need to use it because they're good for you. The leaves are good for you. The berries are good for you. And you can do a lot with it. So do your research on mulberry trees and see what all you can do. And if you hadn't got one, order you one. Travis started off with ours, and all it was was just a little bitty stick about, about a foot high, if that. And he planted it, and now this is what we have. It's probably... 30 foot high or 20 foot. I'm not really good at judging sizes of trees, but it's a big tree already. And uh, it makes a good shade tree and it's good for you. So I hope y'all try this mulberry tea. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Okay, right here is two ways that you can make tea from a mulberry tree. You can use the leaves, you can use the berries, and you can also use the berries for syrup, jams, cobblers, all kinds of things you can use those for. You can can them and have them throughout the year. The leaves you need to 
uh, remember to dry and dehydrate for the year. Keep them in a mason jar and you can have tea any time of year you want. The berries, I put me one in there just for extra flavor. But there's my picture of my mulberry tea and I thought I'd share it with y'all. Hope y'all like this video. If you do, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share it.